So greetings, today is uh, July 9th, 2021. We're out at Cañada de Vergin, which in English translates to the Canyon of the Virgin. Uh, this is an archeological site outside of San Miguel. You can see San Miguel over my shoulder uh, here in the distance. And between San Miguel and this site, there's a, a lake uh, over here to the right. Uh, but this site here is a new archeological site. It's part of the Mesoamerican heritage that ranges uh, down from Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Belize, and up uh, to this part uh, in Guanajuato. It's really viewed as the northern uh, portion of the Mesoamerican uh, peoples. Uh, this site here was discovered in 1995. Uh, they started excavating it in the early 2000s. It wasn't opened uh, to the public until 2011. Now there are four major sites here. There's a lot to see, it's well preserved. Uh, but the biggest site, the pyramid, is called the House of the 13 Heavens. Now, this is a great site. There's a lot of information, it's well preserved. And it's situated along the axis that the sun rises and sets and the moon rises and sets. So two times a year uh, in the spring and the fall, the sun will rise and split the pyramid. There's actually a cup in the pyramid and it'll split it. And then of course two times a year the moon takes that same axis path and it too splits the pyramid. So there are other uh, finds here, one of them being uh, the House of Wind, uh, something like that. And all these out here were for astronomy. These people, like the Mayans, were uh, attuned to the stars in the sky, and they kept good records and had a complex calendar system. Now, this is a very well-preserved site, as I said. And when we get here, it's about a three-kilometer drive in a bus or a van, and then when we reach that point, there's about a kilometer walk. And it is uphill. Uh, if you come, bring some good shoes. I have boots on. Uh, but a good pair of uh, tennis shoes with good soles uh, because the rocks will be slippery. Uh, and as you go, you'll climb that path. It's, it's a ceremonial path that the people took. And they would take this path along that axis that the sun and moon rise, and they would rise and ascend to the pyramid. And just in front of the pyramid, there's a, a plateau. And it's believed that once they got to the top of the plateau, they would rest and eat before they entered into the pyramid. And they would bring gifts and sacrifices to the priests that lived here. Now the priests that lived here were viewed as gods and they were the elite. But this is a fantastic site. It's so new that many people don't think about it still when they come to San Miguel. They're still thinking about the center of town and the arts and the wineries that are around here. But this is definitely a great site. If you come by yourself uh, today, July 9th, 2021, the entrance fee is 39 pesos. If you get a guided tour, you're gonna pay between 50 and $60. Uh, one of the guides here is named Albert Coffey. Now he's been here from the beginning and he actually helped excavate the site. And he's got a wealth of knowledge uh, he gives tours daily, and I would suggest looking up his uh, website and booking a tour. I'll put a link in my video uh, to his website that you can find it. So San Miguel over my shoulder here, the lake here, and we'll be we'll be uh, going up to the pyramids here in just a little bit. And we hope you guys enjoy what you see, and we hope you guys come out and visit for yourself. After arriving on site, the first building you come to is the office, where you will buy your ticket and request a locker as necessary. As you walk up the stairs on the south side of the building, you'll come to the museum entrance. The museum is small, but worth a tour. There are a variety of displays and pictures to pick to your interest, but you'll notice all the written descriptions are in Spanish have your translation tool ready.
Now you're ready to board the bus. Have your ticket ready. They may check it. Masks are still required, so be sure to bring one along. When you enter the bus, choose a seat on the passenger side, as this will give you a panoramic view of the mountains and countryside of this beautiful state, Guanajuato. The bus stops at a small open shelter. This is where you will be picked up for the ride back. Your walking tour starts now. For about the first half of the walk, you'll stroll along a hand-laid path, stopping at the next open shelter for a rest and some information before you arrive at the pyramid. As you leave the open shelter, you'll continue your climb uphill along the ceremonial path taken by the ancient Otomi people. Enjoy the breathtaking views as you'll soon arrive at the entrance gate. After stopping at some of the markers, you'll be led along a path to some interesting exhibits. Your first stop might be here, where you'll see a striped painted rock. Your guide will explain what the colors are and how they're made. Your next stop might be here. I don't want to spoil your tour, so you'll have to come check this out. Listen closely to your guide. You're sure to find it interesting. You've now come to the pyramid and other sites. If you haven't been told by now, ask what was used as mortar for all the building products. Like me, you might be surprised at the source. Now you're in for a treat. Unlike Chichen Itza and other sites that prohibit climbing their pyramid structures, you're ready to climb Cañada de la Virgen to get an inside look at the patio area and an up-close look at the pyramid known as the House of the Thirteen Heavens.
Your tour has ended, but not your sightseeing. As you walk back to the pickup point, be sure to enjoy the free roaming cattle and horses, as well as the breathtaking views. As you return to the staging area, don't forget to tip your tour guide. I hope you enjoyed taking a look around this amazing place. When you come, you're sure to enjoy your time. Thank you.